Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Misty Beauty. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back. Also, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I am running a flash sale for my um, manifestation webinar, you guys. Um, if you were waiting on the opportunity to get that webinar, go ahead and grab it. Um, normally, it is $111.11, but for a very, very small window, my webinar is $25.88. So make sure y'all check that out. Go ahead, grab you your spot, your webinar, and get happy manifesting, you guys, all right? All right. What is the overall energy for the Divine Collective? What is the strongest energy for the Divine Collective? Also, you guys, I also took the liberty of posting my 30-day results. Um, as you can see, like, on the community board and in... Um, the intro that I made, um, I utilize my own little tips and things that I'm going to be talking about in the webinar. I utilize that for myself. And those are the results that I got um, in the, the first 30, like in the 30 days, y'all. All right. I had actually stopped doing it. <laughs> and 30 days ago, I decided to do it again. And I get really good results every time, quickly, every time, never fail. All right. So we have cleanse. Some of you guys need to cleanse your environment. You need to cleanse your home. You need to sage. Risk of like negative energy. You may have like some lingering negative energy. But there's some type of negative energy that's like blocking you guys. Like it's stopping you from thriving. Removing toxic energy to thrive. This could be people, places, and things collective. All right. So it don't just necessarily have to be a person per se. Unless you know that you have a person in your life that's toxic. All right. Yeah, you guys have recently went through some type of rough patch. It's been really hard, all right? It says period of rough times, pe period of hard times, and devastation. So, it's like you guys have to cross some type of bridge, but it wasn't easy, all right? This bridge wasn't, it wasn't stable. It was a very shaky time in your life. So it's like spirit is asking you guys to cleanse yourself after going through whatever devastating time that you went through. Yeah, because like most high is about to take take action for you. Or there's something that you're about to take action towards and they don't want you to hesitate. It's like they want you to be ready. Something about to happen for you, but it's going to require it's going to require you guys to heal. Like, you guys went through something that was just dev devastating. You went through something that was devastating, collective. But I'm, I'm getting that whatever, whatever you learned when you crossed this bridge, when you went through this, whatever you learned, collective, this was to help you purify your soul. Sometimes grief be, can be so devastating. Sometimes we go through things that are so devastating that it actually end up detoxing your soul and purifying you. And like, but whatever you guys learn through this period of devastation, you're going to be able to share your gifts with other people. And I'm getting like, that was the point. That was the whole purpose of, you know, you going through what you went through so that you can share your gifts with the world. Yeah, look at that. Green aura. It says teaching, learning, healing. Yeah. So you're supposed to share your experience, share your pain, share your healing process with the world. And Spirit has been telling some of y'all to do that. They're saying you need to take action on it. Some of you guys are healers. Tell me more. Look at that. Can't make it up. Em empath. You're a healer. Feels others' emotions as your own. Wow. So you are a healer. And this rough period that you went through... This period of hard times and devastation where it seemed like everybody was letting you down. You couldn't trust nobody. You couldn't turn to nobody but most high collective. That was with divine purpose. You learned very valuable lessons that you can. Like money cannot, 
money can never buy the lessons that you learned when you went through this rough patch or rough period in your life. And because of this, it's like now you're ready to receive some type of upgrade in your gifts. And Spirit is saying that these gifts that they're giving you, they're meant to um, to help other people. You're supposed to use your gifts to help others. Yeah, look at that. Big change, take action, energetic. So it's like there's something that your spirit team has been telling y'all to take action on. You've been hesitating. Yeah, this is something that's going to kind of align you to your divine purpose with white aura, align with higher self and wise and exalted. So it's like most high is trying to exalt you spiritually, but you have to take action. It's something that you have to take action and do. And it's going to help other people. Some of you guys are supposed to be working with children, healing children or something like that. Yeah, slow down, think it through, don't rush. So they're saying whatever this is, take action, but take it slow. It's okay to take action, but make sure that you're taking your time. What is this? Wow, divine message. Messages from source. So yeah, that was a direct message from source. That was definitely a direct message from the higher ups. That's beautiful. So they're saying whatever this path is that Most High is about to put you on, it's it's not going to be a straight path. There's going to be detours. There's going to be twists and turns and um, you may have to be rerouted depending on what is on this path or, you know, y'all know, like if you're a light worker, you always know the enemy is always trying to attack you. You always got, you know, low vibrational people who is so low, low vibrational that entities can work through them to attack you and block you and try to stop you and cause like, um, just delays on your path. And when that happens, sometimes most high would, will just uh, redirect you. Okay. Look at that. Speaking of low vibrational people. Yeah. Black aura, exhausted, burnt out negativity. So, you know, through, through your Ascension Collective, you're going to experience a lot more black spirited people, dark spirited people, people with dark auras. All right. These people are in need of healing. Okay. So you won't be meeting these people for no reason. Even if you don't like lay hands on these people or nothing like that. But they're saying like just your presence, just you being in their life for that short amount of time, you are going to heal them. That's how powerful you are. All you have to do is just cross paths with people. And you, you start the healing process. You start the purging. See, you, you pretty much are the catalyst to their spiritual growth. You cause, you pretty much trigger ego deaths in people. Yeah. All you simply by just being present, <laughs> you ain't got to do nothing but show up to the party. Just keeping it real. Just showing up to the party. You're so, so high vibrational. You're such a great healer. You're so exalted spiritually all you have to do is show up to the party and just these entities just they flee they can't stay the longer you stay around a person the more like you really disturb people's demons just to be real with you <laughs> for real but it's with purpose though some of you guys can help spirits to cross over I'm getting an energy that you can help help energies cross over. Also, you need to learn how to set boundaries as well, especially if you're working in the um, the spiritual field. Like if you put in work in the spirit, set boundaries with the energies that can communicate with you and can't. Make sure you 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 cross you you um set that line down because you have some spirits that will try to cross boundaries with you. Also, like when you're dealing with people who have bad spirits on them, you got to set that boundary. You are the authoritative figure. You are the authoritative energy. They're not. Okay, these are people who walk around with these dark energies. These are these are energies that are lower than yourself because you're so high vibrational. You always have to remember these type of energies are beneath you. What is this? Mirror, life, reflection, seeing things clearly. So, yeah. 
Um, you guys could have recently did some mirror work or something like that, or you need to start doing mirror magic over yourself, just kind of speaking to yourself um, how you want things to be. But speak it as if it already is. You're telling yourself this is what it is. But there's also an energy of like self reflector. You you guys cause people to reflect. So you mirror, you are a mirror to people, but not a negative mirror. Because you're so, empaths normally are mirrors to people. We show people their ugly side because we're so high vibrational that when they're around us, it exposes their ugliness. So it's like you as an empath, you hold mirror, you hold the mirror to people's faces. And all you have to do is be yourself. You ain't got to do nothing but show up to the party, be yourself, be your high vibrational self. And simply by you doing the right thing, because that's who you are, it's going to expose to other people that they're low vibrational and parts of themselves that they need to work on. They may not say it out loud, but they're paying attention and like, dang, I need to get myself together. I really need to be better. Like, I really like how he or she carry themselves. I like how you handled that situation. Like, I need to, I need to clean myself up. All right. So, yeah, you really do hold the mirror to people's faces. You show them the ugly parts of themselves that they're struggling to let go of, that they need to release. Yup. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Look at that. Speaking of letting go cord cutting so some of you guys could have recently did some type of cord cutting or you need to do some type of cord cutting you may be still spiritually um yeah with soul family you may be spiritually tied to somebody you may communicate with this person in your dreams or something like that look at that medium i knew that you were a medium when spirit told me that you can help people cross over like you know you could talk to spirits that are crossed over um Somebody that you are spiritually connected to still be communicating with you. And spirit is saying you need to do a cord cut and you need to set some type of spiritual boundary with this person. See, protection needed. You need to protect yourself from this person and protect your home. Who is this person? Clairvoyant, psychic dreams, seeing in mind's eyes. So yeah, you're you're communicating with this person in your in your in the 5D. But you may have to protect yourself from this person. Throat chakra. Yeah, it's like they're trying to speak something to you. Oh, your ancestors want you to ask for help. How to, how to, you want, okay. Ask your ancestors to cut the cord. Or ask them to walk you through spiritually cutting some type of cord. Because it's somebody that you still connected to spiritually that's not good for you. So throat chakra energy, communication, boundaries, truth, uh, ancestry work, spirit guides, genealogy, ask for help. They need you to speak up. Your ancestors want you to ask them to step in because you need to set some type of boundary with somebody in the spirit. Yeah. And you picking this person be draining your energy. Yeah. Cause you look yellow aura, happiness, friendship, confidence. Yeah. You, you, you like a real life spirited person. And this person be draining your energy from a distance. Oh, wow. Mm. You may resonate with being an indigo child, indigo aura. Or you're, you may have like an indigo child, like a, a, a actual a child that's an indigo child. Claire sentience, you you just get like a gut feeling on things. You read energy very well. Somebody maybe a tarot card reader or something like that. Look at that karmic debt. So there's a karmic energy here who don't want to let you go, and but they 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 are operating through their shadow. Ask your ancestors to se sever the ties. Yeah. Ask them to help you to cut the cord or to cut the cord for you. You got to speak up. A violet aura just came out again. I saw it. I didn't take it. Old soul, charismatic, and powerful. So you're very, very powerful. 
You're very powerful. You guys can actually cut the cords for other people as well. But for that, for whatever reason, you need some type of God. I knew it. Like I said, you're powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Strong potential and abilities. You're very powerful. Yeah. Something isn't what it seemed, though. With this witchcraft energy here, somebody could have been trying to do mirror magic or something on you. Something about your inner child. Things are not as they seem. Perception. Somebody want to see tarot card reading is here again. Somebody may be getting readings on you. Someone's definitely astral projecting to you. This is why they're telling you to protect yourself. But you're powerful. Like, you just need some, like, ancestral spiritual guidance on how to, like, really work with your, your gifts. All right? For real. I'm going to pull from Divine Headquarters Oracle because I'm trying to figure out what is this change in perception? What is not as it seems? It's like somebody trying to force their way into your energetic field, but they can't do it. Or they're trying possibly through witchcraft or something. Your ancestors waiting for you to for you to give them the the the, the go. All right, your ancestors waiting for you to, to tag them in. They whoever doing this, they've been wanting this person. Light worker school, so yeah, you're definitely a healer. And you're always in some type of training. Yeah, somebody failed a spiritual test with light worker school and spiritual test. So some whoever this person is that attacked you, this could be like another spiritualist or somebody who who um supposedly had some type of calling or something over their life or something. I don't know. But somebody was supposed to be doing something better or acting different, or I don't know, collective. Somebody, another light worker tried to attack you on some weird shit. But somebody failed some spiritual test, failed light worker school. This person could be in bad health. Or this could just be somebody else with gifts that use their gifts to attack a light worker who's now in bad health because they flunked some type of spiritual test. I knew it. Somebody's getting readings on you. Whoever is, whoever was doing this spell work on you, they was getting readers to see, is it working? And the reader is telling them how powerful you are and how much protection you have and know, and that it's not working and that they in trouble. It's a bitter karmic. Thank you. A bitter karmic is doing this. This, this karmic may have a karmic child by somebody that you're connected to. Wow. They fail some type of spiritual test and now they're, they're in bad health. Are they about to be in bad health? She may be pregnant now. Something may happen with this pregnancy because she's carrying a karmic child and she did some type of spell work while she was pregnant, which is stupid. You so stupid. Like, why would you do spell work on somebody while you pregnant? And this may cause her her life or she may lose this baby. That's so stupid. Not even knowing like you are how powerful you are. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you a real high priestess. Oh, wow. Homegirl is tripping. This is somebody who has a baby. The baby's here already or they're pregnant now. For some of y'all, take what resonates now. All right? But see, you come from a royal lineage. You are super, 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 super protected. And there, it's like this baby's going to turn on her in the womb. That's her karma. This baby's going to make her excessively sick or something. That's her karma. Like her body's going to reject it. Something about an old lover returning. She don't want somebody to come back to you. Yeah, you're a fallen twin. This masculine is in regret. Also, you get an unexpected income. You got some type of blessings that's coming into you. But y'all, this is crazy. I don't know. You finna be, it's finna be exposed clearly who is, um, been playing around in your energy though, for real. Mm. Spirit sought them up. Spirit sought this person up. This was definitely a spiritual setup and they are so angry and mad at you for no reason. That's crazy. They're jealous of you for one thing. 
Give me one more and I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah. But your galactic ancestors, they not playing. They not playing with this person. They warned them. They are definitely not playing. Also, you get a lot of your downloads and your gifts from them as well. They, It's like they're tutoring him. They're teaching him what they know. He's taking notes. So you receive a lot of knowledge from your um, your galactic ancestors. So you are definitely a star seed for sure. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Give me a final word. Some of y'all, you getting a new home? Congratulations. This energy keeps coming out. So there's going to be a lot of people purchasing homes um, this year, the next two years. And this person is all up up all night thinking about you you whoever this past person is the one they all they do is think about you because they miss you yeah they miss you <laughs> they're getting signs and stuff about you and somebody is so pissed off about this and you know either they have a karmic child with this person or they're pregnant now that's not for everybody that part is not for everybody all right so i hope y'all enjoyed this reading um this message let me know in the comment section down below what you know peace